Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. It's Floral Friday and let's paint some coneflowers slash echinacea. It's kind of an herb actually. Uh, and they come in pink and they come in white. And in this tutorial I'll go over how to paint it. I have a download on how to draw it on my Patreon if you want to go check that out. As well as a photograph that goes with it. So let's get started. Um, I'll be using some paints. I have my Viridian Hue, my Cadmium Yellow Deep, my Bright Rose Holbein colors. I might throw in something else. Um, it's in my palette here, paper towel. I'll be using my Princeton number eight long round velvet touch series. The velvet touch series I love. If I'm yelling or not yelling enough, it's because I'm using my camera instead of my phone because the phone is a disaster right now. So. Um, on my Patreon, I have a download, this is just a rough one, but I have a nicer one, this, of how to draw a cone flower, basically you're making like a gumdrop shape with a light pencil. And then you're going to go in that shape and you're going to make these little spikes here. And then you're going to add the petals one by one, and then the stem and the leaf of the echinacea slash cone flower. Now I took, and I'm also going to give you a, on Patreon, um, the printout of this photograph. This is, uh, these are the coneflowers in my front yard. Um, I, ha I used to have the pink ones, which I downloaded here, some, a photograph of somebody else's, just a shutter shock of the pink ones. But for some reason, they don't come back anymore. I don't know why. And I have white ones. <laughs> Maybe didn't want to be pink anymore. I don't know. So I, I want to paint some pink ones, um, but I have the white ones for reference. It's similar. I might paint a white one and two pink ones. I don't know. Maybe I just keep all three pink. But you have the download for the visual of what they kind of look like. And of course the bugs have eaten the, the petals on mine, which is kind of cool. It actually gives it this wild and crazy natural like feel to it. So I sketched out my cone flowers here. And we're just going to go ahead and start painting them up. Now they have these little spiky tops, right? And it's this orangey, pinky, greeny hue. And you could pencil in the little spikes and you could wash in a color and then just make little spikes coming out make it easier for yourself and I think that's what we'll do and this one shows it to be green with like the bright orange if you can do the white ones um, you know that's how I do it so I'm gonna take that Viridian green hue kind of put some water here it's a very bright almost like an aqua color green and just add some of the yellow and then it's bright again, and then we'll take some of the rose and we'll tone it down with the rose. It's just the three colors here. So it's a green, but it's not so bright. It's more of a muted, olivey green. I always dab it on the paper towel to see if it's the color I'm looking for. I'm just going to wash in just a little bit of that green on the bottom here. A bottom half of that cone and add a little more yellow to it and wash it in down here and then the other one too. You see it just looks like a stripe right now so now I'm going to take my brush clean it off grab some water and then just push it up here a little bit so it's obviously brighter on the bottom and less on top you have a hint of it, not too much of it. And we'll let that dry. And we'll come back in and we'll add in the orangey color. I don't want to do it right now because it's going to blend and bleed. See, I'm trying to get this color a little bit brighter on here. Playing around with it. I'm also painting at a weird angle because the camera I can't have this camera go straight down with my tripod. I need to get a special tool. So, bear with me. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Okay, we're going to work on the petals. So, the pink would have, they would both have the same kind of situation. If it was black and white, you'd notice it. They're going to have darker tones towards the, um, the middle and a little lighter, and then you have like a darker line in the middle. And then, of course, underneath, darker tones of the pink. A little greens peeking out here, these petals. And with the white, you're gonna have to put some gray tones in for the dark petals. 
so that's how you play around with that. We're going to do the pink. I like that pink. And this bright rose is, you know, a nice pink, but it's a little too bright, so I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow. Tone it down just a bit. I don't want it super pinky. Does that make any sense? And then we're going to just water it. Get more water on here, makes it lighter. And I definitely make paper towel. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the petals. Do a little light wash the first round. In the second round, we'll go back in and we'll add in the details. Now, you can make this as loose or as tight as you want. If you have more water or less water, that will show it. So, right, made it, I had less water, so you can see it's kind of a dry brush effect here on the sides. I could go back in and fill that in if I didn't want that. And make it more realistic in a way. But I can keep the dry brush if I want that look. And that's obviously less paint. It's a nice look too. I mean, it depends on how you want it to look. Some of the pink sneakily escaped and got into the green, but that's okay. We're just filling this in. Now, if you want to put a petal behind it, right now it might have to just be where it looks like the same color tone next to each other. And then you have to go back in and add a deeper tone to show that it's behind the petal. So like I'm saying here, right here, I'm going to put one behind it. So it looks like one big fat petal, but it's not. The same thing over here. And then, should I keep a white one up here? I don't know. If I do a white one, I guess I should do a white one so I can show you. That would have to be a gray tone. So I would have to mix the rose with the green. A little bit of yellow. And a little bit of pink. So it looks a brown. We might need a little blue. I have this Prussian blue over here. Or we don't just use the Prussian blue itself and really tone that down. But I want a little green with that. We just go in and add just little lines. Let me zoom in for you so you can see. Bear with me. Pull this back. Alright, so you're just going to faintly put in little lines. So I'm taking the tip of the brush. By the way, I'm holding the pinky here like this. See how I do this? It helps guide the brush. And then again here, and then the outside of that, and the middle. The petals on the... See, I have, a, I have the pencil line. Now you can just fall on the line and put some paint along that, or going up the brush, push in some of that pale gray. If you want it more blue tones, you add more blue tone. It could be bluish gray. Depends on how you want to do it. Depends on how you want to do it. Painting real time, folks, and I was getting text messages, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, yeah, so here I have little blue tones, and I'll put the little lines with the brush to indicate the petals. And once this dries, I go in and add a little bit of green towards the center here. This is Echinacea. So now, you see that. I'm going to zoom back out. There we go. And we'll work on, this is still a little wet, but we'll work on the petals and the leaves. 
the leaves are going to be simple. I mean, we're going to just make some of this viridian green hue. Add some of the yellow. Get this really bright green. Take some of that rose and tone it down just a bit. It's like a medium color green leaf and stem. It's not dark. It's not too brown. It's just right in the middle. So that's a good color. And I'll get it a little looser. And I'll just take the brush and we'll just curve that line down the stem. You can go and add a darker tone afterwards if you want. I like the brightness of that. And here's the third one. I didn't even follow my sketch here. The line was over here. I liked it over here better. And for the leaves, it's so simple. You take this brush. This is a great brush for this. Just pushing down, curving it, and pulling it back up, pulling it towards the stem. Down and up towards the stem. And then just fill this in. Just fill that in. And you can do the opposite. Going upward. Down and up. <laughs> like a roller coaster. Down and up. That's pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward type of leaves. Nothing fancy. That's what's great about this flower. It's a really, really easy flower. If you're stuck on how to draw it, like I said, I have to download. If you're on my Patreon, you can go over there and download that. While, it, while it's wet, you can go in and add some deeper tones. So, I'll take that green, maybe add some of that Prussian blue, and some of that rose, and the green again. Mix it with this green that we already mixed. And you can just tap in some of that dark green right underneath the petals, because it would be darker with the shadow there. And you can just tap in some where the petal these leaves meet the stem just to give it some more variety. And this when this dries we can go in and add in the center. You know if you wanted to have it white you can try and bleed it out, take out the or you could have painted it green on each side and left the white inside. But right now we're gonna just do that. And this one can add some of the dark right up in here and here. I didn't add leaf yet, so I'm going to add leaf. Put one behind this one over here. Careful not to get it in the paint too much. I can add another one down here too. I'll do a sketch and then sometimes in that sketch like it's missing something. You always don't, you know, you don't have to follow your sketch completely. You can keep adding. You can't really subtract, I would say. Or well, you could if you started to paint it, but you can add. I'm going to go and add this darker tone where they meet. I also do sometimes a darker tone just in the tips if it's still wet of the leaves. Gives a kind of more realistic look to it. If it's dry, you can just kind of push the paint around. It's kind of tricky painting on an angle right now. All right, we got the leaves down. This is such an easy flower. Now we're gonna go back to these petals and we're gonna put a darker tone in. So you get that bright pink and that yellow. More pink. Gonna mix up more pink. Okay. Remember that one that was behind? We're gonna make that one darker. See that? This one was behind. Darker. That one really pops up. 
and then on the flower itself, get a little more paint, just water it down a bit, and you go in and add the shadow just on the inside to that. You can see like some of the shadows have that. And then you can take the darker color and just the line down the middle of each petal. Put another skinny one next to it on the edge of the petal and add that little shadow. It'll have that more realistic effect to it. And a little bit on the bottom. Not on every single one. Let's keep it with a variety. And this one's kind of behind. So I'm going to add more dark pink on that one. And we'll do the same thing with this one. You're going to become a pro before you know it. You use this type of brush to your advantage. It has a tip and a belly. The tip can do some fine lines like this. See, I'm just putting these nice fine lines in. And then the belly, pushing down on the side and pulling up, washes in a larger amount of paint. See, just adding in a little line there on the side. You get the idea. Now going towards this, um, the center part, there's a dark green. So we have this dark green here. A little bit brighter than that. It's not as blue, it's more bright green. And I'm just going to take your tip and you're just going to make these little lines like spikes. Like that. This is for the pink one. And for the, um, the white one, you can do the same thing. Just these little lines, those will be your spikes. And now I'm going to add, it's like an orange color. So clean off this part. We have the medium, I mean the yellow deep. Add the bright rose. We have our orange. You see these have orangey, pinky color. So the top is more orangey. I'm just putting these little lines. Little teeny lines. Because they're spiky, remember. Little teeny lines. The spikes. You can put a little space in between. If you ever touch these, they're very spiky. <laughs> it's almost like a cactusy porcupine kind of thing. I'm going to add a little more rose. So it's like more of an orangey pink and a little bit green. So let's stick a dark orange and green down here. Grab this pink. I'm going to make this orange a little darker. And now we're going to do the spikes again here. So it's a little bit darker. Same thing here. Right into that green. I'm going to probably add some green in between that. And then this one too. I'm going to add a little more green on top. Those green spikes. And then I'm going to start adding in the orange. It's just the little lines and then the lighter orange. Going up into that cone shape. And then with this one, you can take your gray, less wet, more dry, and then put the little lines in. I'm going to add a little green to that. 
just like we do with the pink. Going towards the center of the flower. Going with the brush. And I'll get some of that blue, mix with some of that green, some of that red. And I've got the purplish. I've got a gray color. I'm just gonna put teeny little lines very faint on the outside of the petals just so you can see them or you can leave a nice pencil mark that would look pretty too however you want to do it to indicate the white Ignatia and now this we're going to go back in again and add some deeper lines just right by the middle part Again, this is not, you know, a serious painting. This is just an easy one. Kind of a little couple of darker lines on the outside. And then we're going to go back in the stem and get more details. A little darker green in here. Put the dark line going through the leaves get a little more detail green wash in this green in here and one here play around with that if you want it darker but the gist of it's there like I said, with the cone flower, with the pink, you can go back in and just add some more lines just to separate the petals and a little bit shine. Right in the middle, a little on the outside, just to give it that separation. So I'm just adding some lines here on the outside. And then I'm going to take some of that green again. A little brighter green. Go hit some of this edge part. There you go. And there we have a simple cone flower. Some of my green get. If you have a problem like that where some of your paint sometimes gets outside where it's not supposed to, get some water on it real quick, grab paper towel and lift it up. And it should go away pretty quickly. If it doesn't, you can try and play around with it a little more to do that. But this is it. I mean, so you get the three cone flowers. Um, you could add other flowers behind, like in my photograph. You see my um, yarrow hair and some black eyed Susans. You know, if you want to go around and play around, grab the screen paint, a little blue. Got to play around here. And add just like another fun. You know, stems behind it with different things coming out of it. Just to break up the monotony of the cone flower. Just playing around. Keeping things different, you know? You don't have to add that at all. I said, I'm going to put another one back here, crisscrossing through. So I like this tip. See? Just another element, a green element. Just, it just makes it more interesting. You could have the three flowers, fine, but then you add this whole other greenery and it just changes the whole painting. Just that simple. And you can add some little leaves to that. Different color leaves. Just two little skinny little leaves. And you've really changed it. You know? That's what I'm saying. Take it, take it outside the box. You've got the basics with the flower and then from there you build your composition. You add some more elements. You add a different flower. And there you go. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Floral Friday. You know, I might add some little bit bits of color. You know, you could add some um, more of this pink just going in here, just to um, brighten it up. And it doesn't have to be like a real flower. See, that's not a real flower, but it just adds another element. And then over here, you could add a yellow one. But I'm just keeping it simple for now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Here, I'm going to add in the green, a really bright green, just to change it up. It just makes the whole painting different. Uh, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to check out the Patreon. If you haven't joined, please join. You get the free download of the sketch. Don't mind that noise. It's my doodle <laughs> shaking off. Uh, take care, guys. Have a fantastic weekend, and I hope to speak to you soon.